hi guys welcome back to spice channel tv thank you for always coming out here if you're joining us for the first time please kindly subscribe to get notified when we post more breaking news updates please click on the notification bell and don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you well my country people few days back the internet was on fire alex oti was being questioned by many nigerians why is it that in his office he had his portrait there but the sitting president tinibu's portrait was missing it was nowhere to be found how come a lot of questions were raised nigerians had reacted to a viral photograph of alex oti in the state government house and in the office whereby his portrait is there but then tinibu's own is missing how come does it mean he does not recognize Tinibu as the legitimate president? Does this mean he is only loyal uh, to Peter Obi? Or what is really going on? A lot of questions were raised. Finally, the Abia state government have reacted to this. Let's find out more as we hit the news. The Abia state government has explained the absence of President Bola Admet Tinibu's portrait in some of its offices. The governor, the governor Alex Oti, the Smith claims that the absence was due to his administration's non-recognition of Tinibu as the Nigerian president. Oti was reacting to some online reports over the absence of the president's portrait in some offices within the government house. And speaking on behalf of the governor, the special advisor on media and publicity, Ferdinand Ekoma, said that the state government had the president's portrait in some offices but not in all adding that the same applies to the governor as well i mean we don't have the governor's portrait in most offices because this is a new government and we have placed some pictures and we've ordered for more and this has nothing absolutely nothing to do with politics so the day the, gov the, the governor met with some permanent secretaries, we still had the former governor Ipazo's portrait in the banquet hall. But then, it is criminal to say that the person who was duly sworn in as the president will not be recognized. I mean, it does not make any sense. And we don't think it is in that direction. A comma was quoted by the Daily Trust. And he said the media reports to that effect must have been sponsored by the opposition in the state to discredit Governor Oti. So my country people, this is it. The Abia state government have decided to react to the viral news going online whereby people were questioning Governor Alex Oti on social media. Why would he not put Tinibu's portrait in his office? What is wrong? Why is Tinibu's portrait missing? Why is it absent? Does it mean he does not recognize Tinibu as the duly elected president of this country? Or is it because the Labour Party, they still have an ongoing case in court whereby they are challenging the victory of Ashiweji Bola and Metinibu? And its presidential candidate, Peter Obi, is quite close with uh, Governor Alex Oti. So what is going on? Because at some point, uh, there was a time Governor Alex Oti had addressed uh, Peter Obi as my president, but then you know after some while he deleted the tweet But then most Nigerians had already seen the tweet and people were dragging him over that comment Why would he call Peter Obi my president? Does it mean he does not recognize Tinibu? What is going on? So a lot of reactions followed his tweet where he called Peter Obi my president, but he immediately deleted the tweet as to avoid you know, so many questions being raised by so many people. But then, this is Alex Oti reacting to some online reports over the absence of the president's portrait in some offices within the government house. And the governor made it well known that, see, this has absolutely nothing to do with politics. Aside the fact that, yes, the Labour Party, its presidential candidate, Peter Obi, they are challenging the victory of Tinibu, in at the election tribunal sitting in abuja but that does not affect him it doesn't have anything to do with him he's a state governor and he doesn't play that kind of politics so nigerians should not take it that way he sees tinibu as his president and uh later on that day when the news you know went, uh, went viral online we got to see alex oti 
you know, with some other state governors at a function where Tinibu attended in Lagos. And then, so my country people, what are your thoughts concerning this? Does it mean that uh, he has this hatred towards uh, Tinibu that we don't know about? Or is it because there's something he's hiding or he's siding with Peter Obi? The Labour Party presidential candidate, that's why he did not put uh, Tinibu's portrait in his office. However, Nigerians have reacted to this. The first person said Tinibu is a drug baron and did not win the election. So there is no need to put his portrait in any office because it will be a waste of resources printing it. And if you put it, the court now tells Nigerians the truth and the Labour Party and P2B now get their mandate back. How are we going to do with the picture? So it is advisable to put OB's portraits in our offices because we know he won the election and he will become the president in a few days to come. Well, you openly displayed your hatred towards the president and you still want him to release your Kano. Well, these Igbos are not wise. The Igbos hate the Yorubas since the days of uh, Dr. Namdi Azikiwe. Well, you will want to collect allocation from the same person, Abi. Oh yeah, now, don't worry. So how much would it take to get these pictures? It shows that you guys does not recognize Tinibu as the president. Tinibu's headache will, dis will destroy the Eastern Bigots, Kano and the rest. Well, this is all a flimsy excuse. Another said, the earlier you realize the implications of your heinous disregard for protocol, the better. The refusal by the governor to hang the president's portrait in an office where a state function is being held. And while that of the governor, you know, is so, so dignifiedly on display, have serious implications that could even affect the state. The governor was voted in by the people to protect their interests, not his. And Tinibu is the Nigerian president. And that is just the fact. And nobody can contest with it. No matter how bad people are hating it, are hating him. Well, since it is a new government, they will exclude in the new allocation. Guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So my country people, what are your thoughts concerning this? Do you feel that uh, Tinibu's portrait being in the offices of many Nigerians would be a waste of time and uh, resources? Because yes, uh, they are challenging Tinibu's victory in court and uh, it is under probability that a judgment would be given and then we will get to see the real winner of the presidential election. I'm dropping here guys. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.